Hello everybody, this is Tom Tong here and today I have a brand new figures to show you and here we have the Transformer Deluxe Class Earthrise Bumblebee which is the next chapter of the Wolf for Cybertron trilogy the first chapter which is Siege you can catch up on Netflix at the moment so now let's begin on to the review here we have Bumblebee in his vehicle mode which is a Volkswagen Beetle back from the 80s and I must say, they did a really great job as usual of capturing this vehicle mode. The Volkswagen Beetle has appeared in many different versions of Bumblebee, and each time they did it, they surprised me a lot. So we have an Autobot logo over here, and we have a silver painted Volkswagen logo over here, which means that this car is, we got the license of it. And here we have blue windshield, and we got the windscreen wipers over here, which is really nice and detailed. Moving on to the back, as you can see here, there are no license plate or whatever, they're just plain over there. But I mean, that still looks nice. And here's the with flip jumper. This is basically the same toys but with different moldings. So, as you can see, flip jumper is slightly longer than Bumblebee. And they just look great together. This is comparison with B and the studio series Bumblebee. They are all Volkswagen. And I must say that I would prefer the scale of Earthrise to the studio series because the studio series is quite too big because it has all the transformation, which is more complicated. And this is the with Earthrise Optimus, and they just look great together. I really love the scale here. And of course, Bumblebee can fit into Optimus trailer. And unfortunately, Bumblebee cannot house his weaponry onto his top of the car because he has no holes like this jumper. Now let's get to transformation. First, I want to remove this section over here. It is quite tight because this is held by the two hands of Bumblebee. And then we can split out his two legs. Two arm as well, and you can bring up his waist to form his torso. And at this point, you want to form the feet. But before that, you remember must you have flip the wheel section down like this. You can bend the whole section over here and just click it onto the wheels. Like that, and we are done with the lower body of Bumblebee. Put the upper ch chest section and unpack it and bring this piece down, which will reveal his head and bring up the shoulder joint. And we'll be there, we'll be just hook it up and we just hook together. And bring out the arms. For the back of the car, you can just put that onto here to form his back. And we are done. I must say that this is a very simple yet enjoyable transformation. I enjoyed this before with Cliff Jumper, and I now I enjoy it as well with Bumblebee. And I mean, this is a simple yet it captures the whole spirit of, uh, of what a good Bumblebee toy should be. Unlike many other figures of this form Bumblebee, which I will tell in details later. The first thing I want to look at it, Bumblebee's robot mode is the head and his comparison to Cliff Jumper head. As you can see, Cliff Jumper has a kind of slimmer head compared to Bumblebee. Bumblebee is more of a fat head, more rounded, and I must say that I would prefer Cliff Jumper head to Bumblebee. I mean, this head scope is okay, but to me, it is not the best. As you can see here, the chest or the body part, there are no Autobot logos. But, and you can have some onto the feet due to the transformation of the car. This waist section here is painted, and I really enjoy that. The, the, the painted color is really nice. According to the promotional image, this whole section can be removed and then displayed as a shield for Bumblebee like this 
but to me that would looks really dumb because then the, the, the back would look hollow as so I would prefer having it the other way like still placing it onto the back of the bumblebee instead of having this shoe thing This is comparison with Bumblebee with the Masterpiece Bumblebee 1.0 I still enjoy this figure As you can see they are quite dissimilar with their bulkiness And I enjoy this aspect of them Have a turn It's quite still similar And apparently this there's a fifth wheel so this is for add-ons And I mean they just look great next to one another and this is the Bumblebee that I hit, this is the Masterpiece Bumblebee 2.0 And to me this is the shit show figures I hit this guy And this is next to Wheeljack As you can see the scale is a little bit off here Because at the Siege, Bumblebee and Wheeljack are quite on the similar size Not there's no much of a difference like this And this is B with Optimus They just look great together The scaling is perfect Accessory wise, Bumblebee came with the same setup, Garmus S, Cliff Jumper. But as you can see, at this bottom part here, Cliff Jumper got, got some silver painted here, but why Bumblebee doesn't get anything. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see the colors. So apparently, the guns from Bumblebee is a little bit darker than Cliff Jumper. Other than that, they have the same set. And of course, you can he can still hold it the same as Cliff Jumper. Articulation wise, his head can rotate 360. It's a little bit tight, like that. His arms can rotate, bring out like that. He got a rotation there, a bend and a bicep swivel. His hand can rotate. My figure is quite tight. I suppose that is a good thing. His waist can rotate. And you got a little band there to do to transformation. Kick to the up front. And this is a kick to the back. The spread. It's beautiful. This is the knee band. This is similar to Cliff Jumper. And you got a beautiful pivot. I really enjoy this pivot of him. Articulation wise, I think Bumblebee is a great figure. He is able to pull out most poses I would like to put him in. And then again, he looks really beautiful with the other figures of the, from the same line. I would highly recommend purchasing this one because he is worth it. And I think you cannot not have a Bumblebee in your collection if you are a Transformer fan. So that will be my review for today. I'll see you guys later. Ton Ton out.